And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, rock cod Rick Maxa, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray and Rock Cod Rick Maxa. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. And we're in the Mighty 1090 studios with Berkeley Andrews from Seakeeper. We're going to be talking about this amazing technology and some amazing fishing going on right now. You stay tuned. This is Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. A few years ago, Shimano introduced the Tranks 500 reel, and it changed the way we cast for big fish. Now, by popular demand, Shimano has created two new sizes, introducing the Tranks 300 and 400, available now at your local Shimano dealer. Tranks is the dream reel for throwing big baits and catching big fish. X-Ship and HEG technologies combine to provide massive cranking power with a smooth, effortless retrieve. Plus, Shimano's new Core Protect water-resistant technology provides long-lasting durability in the harshest environment. The new Tranks 300 and 400 are available in two gear ratios and two different handle designs to cover all fresh and saltwater applications. See the new Tranks 300 and 400 at your local Shimano dealer. Tranks, it's not just a new reel, it's a way to fish. Check Shimano.com for all the details. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it, so what's holding you back? It's a fact. FishDope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. FishDope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. FishDope.com is for everyone, whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat. FishDope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. What a cool show today is going to be. Yes, indeed. Berkeley Andrews, Seakeeper. Good morning. Good morning, Pete. What's up, Berkeley? Great to have you in the studio. And, uh... Wow, you've been a busy guy. No kidding. Talk about things <laughs> taking off since the last time Jeez. we talked to Berkeley. Yeah, definitely. Um, sea Keeper's growing great. Um, you know, we're, we, we, we keep uh, selling more and more units worldwide. We're up to over 7,000 units now. Um, and about 50% of so, the new- oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. So last time you were on the show was kind of the winter. Where were you at in that period of time? Oh, boy. Well, I mean, I think we were just getting through Fred Hall. and. But, I mean, how many units? I would say we were, you know, probably, half that. Yeah, no, not about half that. So we're looking at about two, two thousand units you know, in the last this, six months. No, this year, hopefully. Wow, oh, that's crazy. That's a lot of units. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty amazing. So, and and this is worldwide, right? That's correct. Yeah, so people all over the world are are, are doing it. Yes, it's yeah. definitely gotten to that point now where every 
I mean, not certainly not every, but like the majority of boats, at least that we deal with at the tackle store, you know, that are that are building new boats. You know, when they're obviously retrofit is still the majority of what happens because all you know a lot of us have boats, but all of the new boats that we see getting built from all of our customers that are building high end, you know, at ass fishing machines, like the Sea Keeper's not even a question. You know, yeah. it, it is becoming like a it's becoming a stock piece of merchandise now on all yeah. on all those new battle wagons. For a good reason. Yeah. And you said 50% right now of new boats have Seakeeper on it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're putting these on boats now uh, under 30 feet. So yeah. with the recent introduction of the Seakeeper 2, um, we're putting these on, you know, boats down to actually 27 feet. Um, we keep getting more and more uh, Seakeeper demo boats to... In our arsenal to get people out on the water. I mean, that's that's what it's all about. You you, you got to get on the boat, feel it to believe it. Feeling is believing. Um, we started with you know eliminate the boat roll, make everyone happy. But our latest one is going to be once you once you boat with it, you won't boat without it. I mean, it just it just adds such value, not just for the captain, but everybody on the boat. The the, the on my boat, it, it's it's a matter of of, of your. You're being tired versus not being tired when you get back from a trip, especially if it's bump, bumpy out or if you're going to spend some time on the boat. I mean, it's 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 the, the fatigue factor is enormous. Cool. That's, yeah. a, that's absolutely right, Pete. I mean, and, that, and that's what it's all about. There's a lot of people out there that say, oh, I don't get seasick. I mean, I was out fishing yesterday, and um, the boat did not have a sea keeper. But uh, this morning, you know, I felt a little bit, you know, banged up. You know, yeah. you get those boat bites. And um, yeah. <laughs> when you're eliminating up to 95% of the boat roll, that, that, that's just a, such a huge difference. Yeah. So, so I, I, we find a lot of people that are getting older are able to keep doing what they love to do. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah. And it is not a cheap piece of equipment. It's an expensive piece of equipment. But... What is what is your enjoyment on the water worth? You invest all this money into a boat, all the fuel and all the time you spend on the boat. Uh, what what's what's the price for for enjoying your boat that much more? Right? Well, well, I tell you what, we feel, um, you know, Sea Keeper, honestly, and a lot, of, a lot of these new boats is only about ten percent of the whole, you know, worth of the boat. So yeah. ten percent is not a big price to pay, yeah. um, considering what it does for you. Yeah. So. You talked about the new Seakeeper 2. Let's talk a little bit about that. This is a battery operator. Don't need a generator. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can run it on a, on a skiff. That's uh, right. Down to 27 feet, any smaller. That's right. We, we actually have done a 25-foot blue water center you console. Have. So, okay. Yes. A center console 25-footer. Mm-hmm. And okay. the center console concept really is uh, what's working the best for these smaller gyros because we're able to incorporate the gyro into the leaning post so we can provide a customized leaning post and it's really deck mounted it's underneath where you sit and um you know yeah these boats are running off uh, outboard engines and and your batteries do you have to put additional batteries on you do yeah we recommend uh some additional batteries for this like how many Two two batteries, two to three batteries dedicated to the Sea Keeper. To the Sea Keeper, mm-hmm. yeah. That run off of the outboards for charging. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And then so, well, if you're um, if you're retrofitting an older boat, I mean, obviously in a new boat you can put it in in the boat, but not every boat will fit a Sea Keeper, right? Well, you know what? I I I, I got to tell you, Pete, it's uh, it's getting easier and easier. I mean, with Refits account for about 25% of our our total sales. I mean, I'd say here in California, you know, we don't have that many boat builders, so most of these guys are doing refits. And we're we're developing a diverse library of all of our installations that we can just simply send to the customer. That's cool. And show like this is what we got to do. And you just it, it's a compromise. We might have to move uh, a generator around. We might have to uh, you know cut a fish box in half. Um, you can always get those those bags; those, those work as well. But um, and once it's all done, I mean, customers are willing to live without their boat from one to three weeks to get that Sea Keeper refit and and have the product. Yeah, mm-hmm. like for example, on mine, a, a 1976 or 70 76. Uh, I always forget to 74 76. And they built Pacificas uh, in that 70s era. A 1976, a 40 what 42 year old boat. Um, we found a spot, but we had to move, uh, we had to move the, the water heater, uh, forward and we had to move the, 
the 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 fresh water tanks outboard just just a slight bit mm -hmm. but it wasn't a huge wasn't a huge change the, then they had to kind of build up the reinforcement for the for the the sides i mean the installation is not a cheap program but it, it it's amazing what you know, if you look in there and go, well, I can't, I don't have room for this. It's amazing what they can do to make it happen. Right? Well, that, and that's right. And I think that when when you truly understand the value of Seakeeper, you're willing to endure, you know, what it takes. Mm -hmm. Because when it's all said and done, Pete, all these guys, it's their favorite piece of equipment oh, on the boat. Yeah, they love it. Right. Yeah. It's, it's like you say, you don't want to go boating without it once you uh, once you have it for sure. So. Um, how do you know whether your boat is right for Seakeeper? I mean, do you come down to work with people? Does Andrew here in San Diego uh, uh, come down? How does how does it work? If you say, okay, I'm interested in a Seakeeper, I want to get a I want to get a quote. That's right. It's all about working with a certified Seakeeper dealer to come down to the boat, you know, spec your boat, and provide a, a turnkey quote on what what it's going to cost. Um, and do you coordinate all that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we, we, we want to get down there within 48 hours. Mm -hmm. So, yep. yeah, come and take a look and say, yeah, we can do this. Mm -hmm. Here's what it is and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and again, I, I tell you, you know, we did a um, we've been doing more of the Cabos, the smaller Cabos, mm -hmm. 43, uh, the 35. We did uh, Mark Rayer's boat. Yeah. Uh, Gen Gen Sport fishing. Yeah. Um, we'll fishing it next month. So, yeah, so so as you get into these boats, you know, the owners have been very helpful, and you talk to, they, they even talk to the customers, say, hey, you know, this is what you got to do. Yeah. Um, and come down to that level, the customer can appreciate and understand. Yeah. Berkeley's got to have the easiest and yet also hardest job. Hardest in that, how do you describe the sea keeper? You know, I mean, it just, it's one of those things that until you get to actually witness the benefit and be on a boat that's rocking and rolling like boats do, and then pushing a button and having it be rock steady solid, like the hardest in having to describe that, and then easiest in that once somebody does experience it, that's it. Like there's that's yeah. all you can think about. You know, is is like when you go back to not having that, realizing that there's a button out there that can be pushed, and we're not rocking and rolling anymore. Yeah. How does it? I always turn it on and I just say, how does it do how does that? It do that? How does no, it do that? Because it's not that big a device. Yeah. You know, the one in my boat weighs 750 pounds, something like that. Mm -hmm. And it takes up, I don't know, it's about a two and a half by two and a half foot space, something like that. I mean, it, my boat's like 22,000 pounds, <laughs> right? Yeah. How does it make it stop rocking? I mean, well, well, like, how, do, how does it work? I tell you what, it's all about the angular momentum and physics, Pete. So, um, we take a flywheel uh, and we operate that in, 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 the, in the sphere and it, we put it in a controlled environment. And the reason that the flywheel's in there is because it's in a vacuum. So you're in a very pristine environment and you, we're allowing that flywheel to spin at speeds up to 9,700 RPMs mm -hmm. a minute, so 500 miles an hour. So we're creating that momentum. And so once, we, once it's fully spooled up and we press the unlock button and we allow that ball to precess fore and aft, we're taking all that side-to-side -side motion, and we're transferring the energy into the structure, into In, the gyro. Into the ball. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's and it's just like that. I mean, still doesn't make any sense to me, but I guess <laughs> maybe to engineering, I still does. I know it works. I mean, that's well, the deal, well, well, right? well, well, the key is to get to get out on the boat. You know, we've we've really found a lot of value in our Seakeeper demo days. Yeah. We're going to be hitting it hard uh, in the new year, starting up in January, all, January. all the way up north. And then coming down here, uh, Fred Hall, Long Beach, Del Mar, Newport Boat Show. Yeah. Uh, we'll be at the San Diego Boat Show in June. Yeah. And um, so get out on the boat. You can click on our website, take a ride, be amazed. Um, that's how you can really understand it. It, it is. It's, it's one of those things you need to take the ride, and you will be amazed. Yeah. It's crazy. So, so these demos, we'll, we're going to announce them here on Let's Talk Hookup, of course, when, and they're coming up starting in January throughout some of the guys, Fred Hall shows. and Absolutely. Like all the boat shows and yeah, and we'll have you. We can get you come to our booth, and uh, we can get you. Out, we can talk about the product. We can see the gyro, but being out there, seeing it in action, um, is great. And some of these demo days, um, I mean, we we're, we made it as far north as San Francisco this year, mm -hmm. which was cool. We had the Golden Gate Bridge and uh, humpback whales. Talk about an area going all over the place. Talk about an area that would benefit from yeah. Seakeeper too. But uh, yeah, I mean the pe people were blown away. Yeah. Speaking of benefiting from Seakeeper, there's some boats at Kingfisher Charters that are putting uh, Seakeepers in, right? Mm -hmm. You've been working with some guys up there in Sitka. Yeah, yeah. You know, we uh, recently uh, had a customer, a guy that manufactures Banff boats, 
uh, put RC Keeper 2 on his 30-foot walk around. And uh, they just, uh, they're very, very happy, impressed with the product. Yeah, so you talk I, about a place that it's going to make a difference. I know, Holy mackerel. I know I'm so stoked because the guy, Simon, that I fish with is putting one on for next year. Oh, and I can't wait, man. Yeah, that's going to yeah, be, be sweet. That's going to be a game changer. Yeah, no doubt. Sure. It's, it, and again, <clears throat> it, I mean, we say it like that. We say, especially up there, but, you know, especially everywhere. I mean, you know, we're in San Diego where it's the, we always joke it's the kiddie pond, but. Would you ever? Do you ever drive your boat and not not turn it on? No. It, it's just too. Why would you not? Yeah. Who cares if it's rough or not rough yeah. or in between. I mean, it, boats rock. That's what they do. You're on the ocean, and to be yeah. able to eliminate that, and like you say, eliminate fatigue, or or be able to include people that maybe wouldn't do it otherwise. If you have, you know, family or friends that are you know susceptible to motion sickness, and you can push a button and the boat doesn't rock and roll anymore. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a no brainer. Well, I'll give you an example. Last week. Uh, a couple weeks ago when we were out at St. Clement Island, we spent the night on the boat on the fishing grounds. And we had and you, you had the sea keeper going. And, you know, we were sleeping on the boat. I mean, Paula Poor has spent a lot of sea time uh, on the water and such like that. You know, you look at the other boats around us in the, in, in the fleet, everybody's rocking and rolling. Sure it wasn't rough, but it wasn't but That's flat, what they do, yeah. But... We were, everybody, everybody slept too well, I think, you know, it's like, get up and go fishing. Come on, darn it. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, that's an example of how, how it makes such a difference in, in changing your life on the water. Instead of rocking back and forth and rolling out of your bunk or whatever, you turn the sea keeper on when you're sideways in the, in the trough and it doesn't, you just go up and down instead of side to side. How sweet. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? And and I like to relate it to fishermen too and how they can how they're, they can improve their game out there, whether they're, you know, trying to rig a bait or climb up in that tower. I mean, who wants to sit up in a tower, um, you know, in six-foot rollers trying to find uh, that prize-winning fish um, if you don't have to? Yeah, no kidding. So um, so the, the process is contact Seakeeper. You can go on the, uh, on the website, seakeeper.com. The, yep. And, and then they'll put them in touch with you if you're out on the West Coast here because you're the West Coast guy, right? Yeah, you know, you can just go to our website um, wherever you live uh, worldwide, um, but you can find me on the website, my information. Um, I can put you in contact uh, with you, with one of our certified dealers, um, and I'd be happy to talk to you about, you know, whatever boat you might have, walk you through the process. And, um, I mean, we, we make it happen. Uh, we won't do it if it doesn't make sense. Um, but what's most exciting now is by 2020, we aim to have this down to boats that are down to 20 feet. Wow. Um, Next year. Well, you two, well we're two times. A couple years away. Yeah, okay. we're getting there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's that close. I mean, you start to introduce it, yeah. So, yeah. But, but you have it down to 25 feet right now. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So pretty impressive technology. As you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. A lot to talk about here on Let's Talk Hookup. You, you No kidding, man. The potential is just so great and so much great information, and it's going to be a great show and lots of fun. We want to talk to you. If you want to join us this morning, talk some fishing and get in on the fun here on Let's Talk Hookup. There's two ways you can reach us. First is with our local line, which is 858 area code 457-1090. Again, 858-457-1090. 1090, or you can call us on the toll-free number. That one's 877-792-1090. One more time, 877-792-1090. Not only going to get your chance to talk to Berkeley, talk Sea Keeper, talk some fishing with us, share a fish report, we have also got a great prize for one lucky caller at the end of the show today, and that is a brand-new pair of Maui Jim sunglasses. Ooh. The Piahi, which again is one of the single most popular pair of Maui Jims they sell. A great pair of wraparound, very comfortable frame. When somebody comes into the tackle store looking for new Maui Jims, Piahi's one of the first ones we always pull out because it seems like it just fits everybody. You know, we always say fit is such an important part in a pair of sunglasses, and Piahis are just so universal. It's a great, great pair of glasses. Doubt, you can go with Piahis. That's what we grab. Yeah, yeah, that's always like the first one, and somebody's like, okay, I love this. And either they buy that one or, they're like, okay, I, I like how this feels, but I want it shorter, or I want it wider, or I want, you know, and so we, I always use Piahi as a judge because it fits everyone so good. This particular pair has that great matte black frame, the classic bronze HCL lens, the super thin glass, which is 20 to 32 percent lighter than standard glass. That's this the is, new glass. Yeah, this is such a good pair of glasses somebody's getting at the end of the show. I'm you, so stoked. You, you won't understand that it is glass until you realize that it truly is glass because it feels like polycarbonate so light. Well, and that's a Maori Gym exclusive. No other 
sunglass manufacturer has the lightness of the glass that Maui Jim Again, has. I'll go back to the that's you know the problem for us in the tackle store is there's no you know, it used to be you would tell somebody a pair of, you know, poly lenses versus glass lenses by picking up the glass. Like, okay, clearly these are so light, this is a plastic lens, these ones are heavier, this is glass. That's not the case anymore. Like, you have to you have to look at the actual model number to see which one. That That's how lightweight those uh, those glasses are. It, it's a great pair. So, again, really, really stoked. Brand new Maui Jim Piahi's going to one lucky caller at the end of the show today. Again, if you want to get through, get your shot at one of those great glasses, or better yet, your chance to talk Seakeeper, 858 858- Four five seven ten ninety or eight seven 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 nine two ten nine. When we come back, we're taking those phone calls. Lots of great info coming your way. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty ten ninety. If you're into saltwater fishing, listen to this. Saturday, November 3rd, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Hi, this is Doug Kern, and we are pulling out all the stops on this one with discounts from 20 to 60% on hundreds of items. Over 20 manufacturers reps like Shimano, plenty of seminars by saltwater experts, a giant raffle, and most of all, incredible deals on tackle. Closeouts we've never offered before at Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing. Check out all the Shimano and PowerPro product we have and talk to the Shimano and Power Pro guys about the best Shimano rod and reel for your trip. Back by popular demand, the Shimano Tranks Casting Contest. Cast a Shimano Tranks 500 and a Terramar 90H rod and show your surface iron casting skills. The winner gets a Tranks 500 worth $500. It's our biggest sale of the year with hundreds of items discounted up to 60%. Plus, plenty of manufacturers incentives from Shimano and Power Pro to spice up the pot. We'll have a huge raffle and lots of fun for everyone. So don't miss it. Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing. Unbelievable pricing on tackle, clothing, and accessories. Saturday, November 3rd. Check Fisherman'sLanding.com. Fisherman's Landing has been the choice of sport fishing anglers for decades with the largest fleet of long-range boats worldwide. Complemented by Southern California's finest charter and open party fleet. Now is the time to book your long-range trips and charters, plus half-day trips aboard the Dolphin. Go to Fisherman'sLanding.com and see trip availability and even book your trip online. Stop by or call Fisherman's Landing in San Diego and book now at Fisherman'sLanding.com. No matter what the season, Rapala Lure should always be a part of your fishing arsenal. It's time to stock up on the trolling lure that's proven to catch more fish. X-Wrap Magnum by Rapala. Every X-Wrap mag runs perfect right out of the box. All have extreme action with a controlled, deep diving, aggressive swimming motion. The large diving lip partners with premium VMC hooks and an irresistible rattle. Here's some big news. X-Wrap mags now get up to 40 feet deep with the new X-Mag 40. Spool up with suffix line, which was designed and recommended for trolling X-Wrap mags. And you have a deadly combo. You should also check out Rapala Husky Magnum heavy-duty high-speed trolling lures built for battling large game fish. The Husky Mag lures, like all Rapala lures, are built tough and available at a great price. So, bottom line, the x rap Magnum or the Rapala Husky Magnum are the ultimate trolling lures for Southern California and Baja saltwater fishing. Available in a variety of colors and sizes. No matter what you choose, the fish can't resist Rapala. Ask your local tackle dealer which is the hottest color and size and start catching more fish. See the entire lineup at Rapala.com. He's not just my fishing buddy. After 30 years, he's a brother, and I'd sure hate to lose him. His bass boat's got nothing to do with it. So I make sure both of us wear a life jacket. Save the ones you love, even if they don't own a fancy boat. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. The Sport Fishing Association of California is hosting a very special open house and live broadcast of Let's Talk Hookup on Saturday, October 6th at their Point Loma headquarters. And you're invited on the waterfront next to the San Diego landings. Join the president of SAC, Captain Ken Frankie, and special guests. Tour the SAC facility and learn about regulations and permits that you need when fishing in Mexico. The SAC staff will be on hand to walk you through the permit process, bracelets, and more, as well as help you process your temporary importation permit on the spot. Visit the SAC website for what you need to bring. Key military personnel will be on hand to discuss San Clemente Island access and illegal charter boat enforcement. SAC's mission is to promote tourism through marine recreation and educational activities while protecting ocean resources. Tune in, or better yet, come by the SAC office Saturday, October 6th, 5040 North Harbor Drive, next to Pizza Nova in Point Loma. Check CaliforniaSportFishing.org. 
XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. San Diego Sports Leader, the home of ESPN Radio, the mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. All right, we're talking Seakeeper Day with Berkeley. We're talking fishing today. And you just heard uh, about the big event next Saturday. Yeah. It's going to be great at the Sport Fishing Association of California office. You heard Ken Frankie talk about it. We're going to have uh, a lot of great people there, people, Mexican officials. We're going to have a lot of the sport fishing people will be there. And also um, uh, Coast Guard uh, representatives will be there a lot. Of, it's going to be a big deal, and you should get there. You can you can um, have your uh, your uh, temporary importations what I think permits so cool, yeah. processed on the spot. And check the SAC website about what paperwork you need to bring, and then bring it, and they'll process it for you on the spot. That's huge. That's huge. And just just questions answered. All of us have questions. I know yourself and myself included. I mean, there's there's a lot of confusion about what is needed, what is not needed. You know, can I get this right. by the day? Can I get this by the year? How come? I mean, this is this is an opportunity for us to all get all those answered from the experts. You know, Ken and his team right. deal with this on a daily basis. It's going to be a really good show. Bracelets. You can get your bracelets right, uh, right there um, for the Coronado Fish in the Coronado Islands. I mean, it's going to be an informative. And Ken told me yesterday after the show, he says he's he's had a lot of requests from landings up and down the coast because Sport Fishing Association – is is of California represents all the landings in California. California, and so he's 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 going to get a bunch of trips to give away at the event. If you attend the event, cool. step up to the mic, ask a question. Uh, we're going to be giving away a lot of trips on a lot of the Sport Fishing Association of California boats. So be sure to attend it. It's going to be a, a really fun event. That's this Saturday, uh, seven to nine a.m. Uh, Sport Fishing Association of California is. Right between Pizza Nova and Fisherman's Landing. You can't miss it. miss it. On the waterfront, right next to the Royal Polaris office mm -hmm. and uh, Shogun office. And we'll be out on the sidewalk there, waterfront, and it's going to be a great event. Yeah, so, it's going to be a good time. Um, and, and like I say, park in the Pizza Nova lot. As long as you clear out of there after the show, uh, you'll be fine. Otherwise, they'll tell you. But, um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but uh, I'm working out with Charlie and John to... That you can park right there on the Pizza Nova because they don't open, I think, till 10 or 11 right there at Pizza Nova. But park in a Pizza Nova spot and come attend the event. It's going to be a great time. I'm just really looking forward to it. And like I said, so much good info is going to come out of that. This is going to be a great time. I'm really looking forward to the phone calls, you know, getting our getting our updates on, you know, what the process is like on, you know, whatever, you know, sea droves and things like that. It's just it's really good to hear because yeah. those guys do so much work that we don't hear about, you yes. know, like. It's almost like an unsung hero thing. Like you only hear about it when there's a victory or a problem, and nothing right. in between. And those guys work their butts off because we see it being next door all the time. It's just going to be a good show. I'm really yeah. looking forward to it. No, Ken's uh, amazing. He and his is. Team, yeah. They do amazing things to keep us on the water for sure. Well, speaking of keeping us on the water, let's head south down to John Ireland, calling us live from Rancho Leonero. Buenos dias, John. Hi, John. Good morning, Peter. Hi, Rick. Hello, Berkeley. Morning. Good morning, good morning. Well, I heard about Sea Keeper. Uh, you know, Mark's got them on his boat, and uh, I'm getting old. I'm losing my sea legs, so maybe I better get one on my boat. Oh huh? yeah, yeah. You need one. It would. Uh, I hear nothing, but I hear nothing, but. Uh, yeah, you. What, your boat is a, a thirty-one. A lure. A thirty-one yeah, lures, lures yeah. right? What do you yeah, think? Will about. it work? Hey, I'll send my Mexican uh, dealer right over. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's okay. the one that did the. He's the one that did marks. That's right. That's yeah. right. And he's so great. He I mean, he he just provides a first class experience. Uh, gets you in a timely manner. I mean, pretty amazing stuff. And you can take a look for sure. Yeah. Well, it's an amazing invention. That's for sure. Send him over. Thank you. Thank you. No, <laughs> no problem. Well, let's talk about the fishing. Another good week, guys. Gosh, it's been the tuna. I've been thinking about it. We've had a, a consistent yellowfin bite since March, pretty much, you know, every daily almost. It's uh, And the, it normally limits, and the fish have always been pretty close. And this week is really, really no exception. They've uh, The yellowfin have been off of uh, Punta Cala, or uh, pardon me, off of La Ribera, uh, a mile, two miles off the beach. And uh, there's a, a spot that's holding a football size to 20 pounders, and an occasional 40 to 50 pounder, all on sardine and a lot of we're getting good mackerel now this week for bait. Now they're, they're loving the mackerel, the bigger fish as well. And then down off of Rincon, again, same area, one or two miles off the beach. And so there's short boat runs, and everybody's loading up on the tuna 
pretty much limits for all anglers there. The the real news is uh, Wahoo have shown up this past week, quite a few Wahoo. Big boat ride, you know, an hour and a half down. They're off of Cerro, Colorado, which is south of Enoramas, <clears throat> right almost down to the – it would be the Iman Bank, but it's in a little closer. They're uh, they're from a half mile to a mile off the beach, trolling Rapalas and Marauders. And I'd say the average fish is about 30 pounds, 20 to 50 pounders, but uh, two or three per boat on the Waho. Everybody Ooh. loves the yeah. Everybody loves Waho. Everybody, everybody craves the Waho. Um, uh, the few Dorado around, not as many as we'd like. Uh, the billfish, the, the boats outside searching for porpoise holding the tuna, are running into billfish outside, and it's a, almost an even mix of stripers, sails, and blues. All being released, none that I've heard of a real size, but quite a few out there. And I'm talking about way outside, 20 or 30 miles off. Inside, big pargo, pompano, and amberjack, as usual. You know, the bottom fishing has been really good. Last week, we had two pargo over 30 pounds again, and, and lots in the lots in the 10 to 15-pound range. Nice size pargo. I'm, I'm a pargo freak, as you know. Pompano, a lot of pompano around 100 yards off the lighthouse, uh, uh, taking the squid. Roosterfish, big guyos all week. Lots of lots of roosterfish cruising up and down. Not much pressure, but there's a lot of them around still. So very good fishing. Yeah, it sounds like it. And uh, this is prime time. This is when it all happens down at Rancho Leonero. Certainly, October is our best month oh, by far. You my know, the air, favorite time. The it is. Well, you know, it's cooling down now, and we've had a. It's it rained in the evening. We've had a lot of rain up in the mountains, and uh, so it's real green. It's as green as I can recall. But but the days have been cooler and very pleasant. Water nice and flat. Water's still 84 to 86 degrees, and and uh, but the air is cooling down, and gosh, the fishing's really good. So good time to come down in October for sure. Indeed, grab a air air ticket, grab a reservation at Ranch Leonero, and get on down to Paradise, just in our own backyard. How do we do that, John? We want to come down to Ranch Leonero. Thanks, Pete. It's eight hundred six four six two two five two or uh, RanchLeonero.com. We upload a lot of fish pictures and literally every day. You know, a lot of people have wahoo as uh, as their bucket list fish. Yeah. Oh. They've never caught a wahoo, oh. so it sounds like now is the time to get down there and catch a wahoo if you want. One. Yeah, it is, and everybody wants wahoo. You know, in fact, it's the number one question: one of the wahoo there. Yeah. And the truth is, they're there when they're there. You know, <laughs> they're hard to predict. It's sure. definitely the number one thing we get up at our shop. Hey, I'm going down to see John at Ranch. You know, what's a good lure for wahoo? What well, you know? What should, I, got what, should I, too. what should I buy? No. Catch a wahoo. It, it's for sure. You wahoo go, and roosters. You go in and ask Ricky about the secret weapon yeah. for wahoo. He's oh. got. He's he has one, and I yeah. took one down last year. And you know, you know how, how Mexico guys are. The captains. It's like, <laughs> no, that's not going to work. No, well, guess totally what? <laughs> I had to give it to him at the end of the trip. Yeah. I was like, can I have this lure? I uh, was just. Yeah. You know, they're funny down there because I uh, I tried to get them on fluorocarbon early in the game, and they just didn't, wouldn't have anything to yeah. do with it. And now they won't fish without it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you go into Fisherman's Landing Tackle, ask Ricky. It's like, I want the that secret, weapon. secret yeah. weapon for Wahoo. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget the CD18 Rapalas, too. Those are my favorites, and they're pretty deadly. Oh, and yeah. They work well. Yeah. But exactly. just about a half an inch of wire on the front to keep their teeth off of the tie there. Yeah. Good and call, John. Good All outfit. right, John. Well, thanks a lot for that report. We'll talk to you next Sunday. See you, you John. Sure Look forward to it, gentlemen. All nice right. talking to you. Yeah, good talking to you, for sure. All right. You, the lines are open. You want to get through, talk to Berkeley, have a fishing question, have a sea keeper question, here's your chance. 858-457-1090 or 877-792-1090. You have a chance to win a pair of Maui Jim sunglasses. Yes, indeed. One lucky caller is going to win a pair of Maui Jim sunglasses, the Piahi. Uh, we're giving that away in the uh, black uh, frame and the bronze HEL lens and the super thin glass to one lucky caller today. Before we jump into the phones, I have a question for Berkeley about, you know, a lot of people um, are skeptical about Seakeeper. And I, I was skeptical about Seakeeper. I mean, like, how does it, how could it do that, right? It it really does. But, and, 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 and writing is believing. But the other thing people are scared about is, uh, what's it going to do to my boat? All this torque, all this pressure, all this incredible um, amount of, I, I don't know what else to call it, but torque on your boat, is it going to tear my boat to pieces? 
Structural integrity. Like Structural what, you know. integrity. That's the. That's right, Pete. You know, absolutely not. Um, and that's what I mentioned earlier about you know taking on every project, um, you know, very delicately and understanding what the customer needs and putting the right gyro on the boat. Um, we we've, we've never had that happen. Um, these forces are really no different than the forces that the outboard engine creates, you know, on the transom of that boat. Okay. So uh, we're really not seeing that. Uh, we've never had a problem in, you know, over, say, 7,000 units worldwide now. Um, no issues with No, no. Equipment. Now, it is true that, you know, with the type of torque that we're creating, we need to be sure that you get the Seakeeper installed by a qualified dealer and you create the right foundation and you're bolted or bonded into our stringer grid. Yes. So it it is important, but um, we don't uh, we don't see gyros flying out of the boat, and we don't see the integrity. Uh, being don't see boats cracking or anything like no, that. No, sir. No, sir. And I mean, it's that's it's, all. Bad it, 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 it is. I mean, seven thousand units is a lot of units, and you know, seventy percent of these units are going on you know brand new boats, um, very prestigious manufacturers that um, I, I really don't think they would allow this be going on their boat if there was that an issue like that. And there's not a unit that gets installed that the team of Seakeeper doesn't, you know, like you said, go down to the boat and approve it. And this is, you know, that nothing nothing happens with shoddy craftsmanship. I mean, you have, very, I know Pete has spoken so highly of the team that did, your, Andrew, yeah, yeah. That did your install. Yeah. and uh, YSS out, out of uh, Shelter Island Boatyard. And I mean, and if it's, you know, if it's, if it's not right, they're going to tell you the same way if it is. Because I, I remember you saying that Seakeeper, you know, we only are going to put one in if it, you know, meets this performance, you know, spec like we. It's our 80% minimum. It's called the wow effect. If we can't guarantee that you and everyone gets on that boat is totally blown away. We didn't do our job. In fact, what we do for each project that we haven't done before is we run a performance prediction report. Um, we take all the parameters of the boat, the weight, and, and we make sure we're getting you the right Seakeeper model. Um, if you ever have any questions uh, in regards to, you know, the structure, placement, we also have a very helpful uh, team with our applications engineers at Seakeeper. And, and you're right. You know, it's all about uh, doing it right uh, and, and making it work. Yeah, and you did the same thing with mine. I originally want, I got, I, I put in the Seakeeper 5, which is no longer made. It's been replaced by the Seakeeper 6. But I wanted to get the Seakeeper 3 because it's, uh, the Seakeeper 3 is for boats from... Up to 10 tons. Uh, up, to, up to 10 tons. 30 to 39 feet. Yeah, which is, I'm right on the borderline there. And Berkeley said, no, we won't put that in. Yeah. And, and he says, because it's not going to do what you need to do. They put the perfect unit in. I mean, it, yeah. this thing it's works. All done. It absolutely works. And if you put an undersized unit in, you're not going to get the performance that you're spending all this money for. That's right. You know, and what I also encourage people to do that have boats under 45 feet is go to the Seakeeper website and you can plug in all your own information, and we'll we'll recommend the right model That's for you cool. right on the website. Yeah. The other thing too, and I keep referencing back to my boat because this is from personal experience, is when they put the Seakeeper in, the reinforcement job that they did on the stringers. You know, Pacificas were well built boats, fiberglass, really thick hulls, thick thick stringers, and stuff like that. But they doubled the stringer, wow. doubled cool. it with like multi layered reinforced. Uh, like basically ply, plywood with fiberglass overlay, uh, uh, and then put metal like base mounts, uh, I believe aluminum base mounts, that it, uh, and then bolted that all into the actual stringer. So it's so it, not the only structure you, yeah. in there is pretty bulletproof. Not only are you not worrying about it being enough, it's better than it was before. Yes, it's more structural than it was before, no doubt about it. Because, like you say, you don't want the ball flying around. Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Yeah. When it's uh, spinning almost 10,000 RPM, I imagine you want that thing to be solid. That's right. That's yeah. right. So for those people that are worried about – so now, what there are certain things about Seakeeper that you have to be aware of. It doesn't work on a plywood laminated boat, correct? We, we do wood boats. Oh, really? We do, definitely. We've got some wood, old, old uh, Trumpies out there. Okay. Yep, boats from you know, the 1950s we put Seakeeper on. On, on a laminated boat? Yes. On a plywood laminated boat. Okay. Well, I mean, it might be a little bit better quality than a plywood. So, yeah, yeah. we definitely. So it's more of a, a like a lap straker or yeah. something like Correct. that. Like a dip mar or something like mm -hmm. that. It would work fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. But it works fine on a steel boat, on an aluminum boat. De definitely. On I a mean, fiberglass mm -hmm. boat. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I mean, and the markets we're getting into is uh, amazing, too. You know, we're getting into commercial markets, military markets. Um, this is something that's not just for the recreational market. How big of a boat? Will it work on? 
I mean, we've done Sea Keeper on, on boats, you know, close to 200 feet, but you need to put multiple gyros on. So it's all about that weight of the boat. How many tons does it weigh? Um, you know, how wide is the boat? Um, so that, and that goes into running the performance prediction report. But, um, yeah, we've done some big boats. We did a 150-foot uh, dinner cruise and whale watching boat out of San Diego, and it currently sits in Waikiki and takes people out for a nice steak dinner and uh, really? sit outside the surf line. And nobody uh, and it has six sea keepers on that boat. You know? Six. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, cool. Wow. How cool yeah. that you can take a 150 footer and stop it from moving so somebody's yeah. wine glass doesn't spill when you're when yeah. you're offshore. Yeah. Especially in Waikiki where it blows all the time, <laughs> right? Oh, oh yeah, and we we even have a boat out there that's uh, it's a 43 foot Cabo um, top shape fishing charters in Kona. And uh, it's got a Sea Keeper 6 on it now, and they take people out, and everyone that gets on that boat said, listen, you're the only guy that's got a Sea Keeper here, and we're going out on your we're boat. We're going out well, on your boat, yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of like uh, Mark Rayer at Genren in, in the East Cape. He's the only guy down there with one. And, <laughs> yeah, people want to go fishing on uh, on Vaquera for sure. Um, you mentioned uh, uh, we mentioned sport fishing boats, and I know Team Bad Company, Anthony Shea and his crew put Sea Keepers now on every one of their boats. That's correct. And they put and they had to put multiples like on his on his big boat. That's a big boat. Before, right? That's right. That's they right. They had to put multiple Sea Keepers on it. Three of our largest units. Which is which? How big is the largest unit? It's about four thousand pounds. Is our Sea Keeper thirty five? Sea Keeper thirty five. Oh, you've got okay, a, I have you've a, got a five. five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. That's yeah. crazy. That's and, and wow, that's a lot. That's a good one for sure. All right. Well, 858-457-1090 open right now. You want to get through, ask Berkeley a question, win some or have questions about fishing, there's your chance. And also, uh, you have a chance to win that pair of Maui Gym sunglasses. Let's jump in the phones. You got it, buddy. How about we start with Brian, who's calling us from Harupa Valley this morning. What's up, Brian? Welcome to Let's Talk Cookup. Morning, gentlemen. What's up, Brian? I was, What's up, Brian? I think he just said they put the Sea Keeper on a sport fishing boat. He's is that the legend in H and M Landing, or is no? You know what we uh, we're not on any of the party boats quite yet, but uh, we're, we're definitely welcome to take inquiries and uh, get on board. There's no there's no doubt that these boats going long range and, and diving into the heart of uh, rough seas could use the product, and um, it's something we, we'd love to see sometime soon. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, somebody will do it. Yep. Yeah. I yeah. would think eventually it's going to happen. There's no que- yeah. I mean, there's just there's no question that it will, and it'll just be one of those things. We we've said it a bunch of times on the show already. It'll be one of those things like whatever, like Wi-Fi, like RSW, like everything else. That once the once that bridge is crossed, there is no going back. I mean, yeah. you, you just you know to be competitive in that world, you'll you you kind of have to have it. And if you can take the rock and roll out of the fishing trip, it's just it's a no brain you know. Yeah. Keep saying the same thing over and over. It's the truth. I mean, if you can make the boat stop rolling, you can't go back. Indeed, 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 indeed. Hey, Scott Sherman's online. Good morning, Scott. Hey guys, how you doing? Morning, Scott. Morning. Good. Hey, I got out uh, got out fishing yesterday. Up by Clemente, found the the right pot of porpoise and got on the yellowfin yesterday. Pretty good. All right. Um, good biters all on the troll and and some poppers all around the porpoise. So if they're up there. If people are looking for them. Nice. I had a, but, how, how how big? Um, they were in that ten to fifteen class. We had one that was pushing twenty five to thirty. So I mean, it was a it was pretty good day out there. It's pretty consistent. That's great, Scott. Good nice. going. It's that, in that area, it's that same area there, off of the uh, the ridge there between uh, the forty three and Clemente. Yeah, exactly. Just kind right of following the, the line there, finding the porpoise. Right where the fish dope numbers were. Pretty much, yeah. It was right in that in that in that general area, and there wasn't a lot of boats yesterday, and I never saw a white cap once all day. It was perfect. How nice! Guys. I would have Keep expected going. you being out in the crowd last night on San Diego Bay, hooping. Yeah. Oh, I could not believe the amount of people when we came in last <laughs> night. Oh my God! I, I, I every, was. I was. Every looking... single spot was was covered. It was amazing. Covered by multiple boats. We, oh, uh, guys were jockeying for position, and it was like an hour and a half for, before sunset, and they were already jockeying and putting their hoops where they wanted them. It was crazy. That's that's usually why I wait until like week two or three before I head yeah, out. Yeah, for sure. We Good came, advice. I, I fished yesterday after the show, my great buddy Adam Harmon and, and his son uh, Jonathan, and uh, we same deal. We came in in the evening. You know, we came in probably around 6, 6.30 last night, and uh, obviously I keep my boat Dana Landing in Mission Bay, there was not only was the entire jetty covered, I mean both sides all the way in, 
but there were several spots where there were two layers of them where obviously this guy took the inside, so this guy's gonna, you know, take the outside like, you know, thirty feet apart. Almost the whole stretch had double layers plus all the way around on the wow. surf side. It was just I have never and and then once you got you know, when half those guys realized there were no spots Every stretch of the inside was covered. Like anywhere there was a rock, there was a string of hoop nets on. This was still two hours before dark, and there was a steady stream of guys launching and heading out last night. Oh. It had to be one of the biggest openers. It, it was certainly the biggest I can ever remember. I mean, I, I don't ever remember seeing it like that. Fish it, and wildlife officials it, must have been busy. It was crazy, can dude. Can you imagine? Oh. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen it like that. Zuniga Jetty didn't have an inch that wasn't covered, and there was guys suiting up with diving gear and everything else. It oh. was pretty nuts. Oh, oh yeah. I, you know, I took yesterday. my binos and was looking last night, and I, I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> I, I, it was yeah. like, I, I mean, there had to be, I mean, 100 boats out yeah. towards Zuniga. What do you think, Sherm? Yeah. Easy, easy. Nice. That's why it was. Maybe that's why it was so quiet on the water out there yeah, yesterday. Well, are there going to be any? Everybody was getting ready to go hooping. You know, it yeah. was nuts. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you, man. Wait, wait a few weeks, and then uh, all the, all the, all that'll die down. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I had a quick question on the sea keeper too. I know you're getting down into the smaller boats. What's the size and weight of your unit? And how much power does it draw? Sea Keeper 2 is going to be our smallest unit right now. It's about 416 pounds. And, um, you know, you're looking, it's all about the spool up. So the spool up is going to draw a little bit more power uh, than the running amps. So you're at about 75 am amps uh, as you're spooling up for about 20 minutes. And then after that, you're around 25 to 30, you're operating amps. And that's on wow, 12 volts. Not, yeah. not bad at all. Mm -hmm. So a couple extra uh, batteries in the boat, that'll do it. That's right. That's yeah. right. And yeah, on a, what, what's the size? The size of so the like he has size. a 25 Parker. Is it going to work? Yeah, you know, yours would be the Sea Keeper too. In fact, we've got some great ideas uh, on the 25 Parker, and um, I'd love to love to help you out and steer you in the right direction. I think that 25 Parker has a perfect spot to put it too. Right? You want it down below, or you want it up above? Yeah, I mean, there's there's some options we can do. Um, I'm friends with a couple of the guys selling them out here, and um, there's definitely some good options. Yeah. All right. Better call Perfect. Berkeley, Sherm. Will do, buddy. Thanks right. again, right. man. Thanks for, thanks for the report. Way to get them out there. Nice going, Sherm. Keep it up, guys. Thanks a lot for the report. Thank you. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. we got more of your phone calls, more great information. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. If you're into saltwater fishing, listen to this. Saturday, November 3rd, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Hi, this is Doug Kern, and we are pulling out all the stops on this one with discounts from 20 to 60% on hundreds of items. Over 20 manufacturer's reps like Shimano, plenty of seminars by saltwater experts, a giant raffle, and most of all, incredible deals on tackle. Closeouts we've never offered before at Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing. Check out all the Shimano and PowerPro product we have and talk to the Shimano and Power Pro guys about the best Shimano rod and reel for your trip. Back by popular demand, the Shimano Tranks Casting Contest. Cast a Shimano Tranks 500 and a Terramar 90H rod and show your surface iron casting skills. The winner gets a Tranks 500 worth $500. It's our biggest sale of the year with hundreds of items discounted up to 60%. Plus, plenty of manufacturers' incentives from Shimano and Power Pro to spice up the pot. We'll have a huge raffle and lots of fun for everyone so don't miss it tackle day at fisherman's landing unbelievable pricing on tackle clothing and accessories saturday november 3rd check fisherman'slanding.com fifth avenue insurance has a new name it's snap insurance still providing anglers and boaters with the best in boat insurance and the lowest rates the experts at snap insurance will make sure your boat and property are covered right traveling to mexico snap has you covered you can even work with your agent to wrap your home and auto with your boat policy to save even more call them for advice on your current boat policy or any of your insurance needs snap insurance 800-527-6617 or snap ins Com. That's S N A P P I N S dot com. Time to talk about great gear from Shimano. And you know, if you're looking for a moderately priced piece of tackle for fishing this tuna, yellowtail, dorado, whatever, I have to recommend that Torium HG. That is an amazing reel. Such a good call, too. Torium, you, you nailed it. It's inexpensive, easy on the pocketbook, but very high on features and performance. 
I mean, extremely powerful reel, lightweight, all of the new modern designs that Shimano always does with the neck down side plate so it fits in your hand better. Very high torque, very good free spool, and a reel that's under 250 bucks. Yeah, it's amazing. You match that with the uh, Terramar rod. Which which Terramar rod would you put on? 80, 80 MH would probably be the oh, single most cool. common, 80 heavy, but they make really nice rods. They make a, a full line at 7.5 feet, which is a really nice bait rod. Uh, it, it's just so a you're really all good in combo. With a two, super high quality for just around 400 bucks. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. you know, match that with some Power Pro Super 8 Slick. You hold enough line and ability to take a big fish, but not in the cost that's going to kill you. Yeah. Check it out. The Torium HG and the Terramar Rod, along with Power Pro, at your local Shimano gear. Lobster season is here. It's time to gear up with the best in the business, Promar. Based in SoCal, Promar knows lobster and makes everything you need to catch these tasty critters. The Promar guys are hardcore lobster fishermen and have all styles of hoop nets, including the new Ambush XL Heavy, 14-pound, 36-inch rigid hoop net, the largest allowed by law. Visit Promar on Facebook or on the web at promarnets.com. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 58 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built by fishermen for fishermen. From our next generation waterproof shorts like Tactical or Stealth to our new anhydrous waterproof jacket and bibs, the entire AFCO clothing line is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and features designed to deliver for the demanding angler. To find AFCO products, go to AFCO.com and find a dealer near you. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Hey, as promised, it's time to find out what's biting out there. It is time for the Catch Report, which today is sponsored by the Fish Pros at Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. Not only do they offer the best processing for your fish when your trip returns to the San Diego landings, now with Fish Pros, the market, you can purchase fresh fish, smoked and jerkied fish, and their famous tuna burgers right at their convenient Liberty Station location. Fish Pros has also become famous for their line of smoked spices, rubs, and salts, as well as their smoked cheese pick up some at their liberty station location order online at fishermansprocessing.com and again we mentioned it last week i gotta say it again i think that that fresh pokey kit that they have is the coolest idea i have ever seen you get a one pound thing of fresh uh, commercially sourced locally caught um, yellowfin tuna it's pre-cut into cubes and it comes with its own seasoning packet you dump it in you dump your dry seasoning in you mix it up you put in a little uh you know um your uh, your 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 wet ingredients, boom! You got fresh, killer, perfect pokey, and crazy inexpensive. Yeah, it's and, such a good call. And you know, here's the other thing: if you can't get down to the Liberty Station location and you have your own tuna, you can order all that online. Their oh. website is fantastic. Good call. Sean has really set up an amazingly easy way to order all these spices, all these rubs, all their products, all their dry products that they can ship to you. Uh, Right away. So uh, go to fishermansprocessing.com. They're, like you say, they're amazingly inexpensive. Yeah, they're doing and, a great and job. And they are delicious. So check that out if you want to order online. Fisherman's Processing Online. Get them. You got it, man. Well, hey, let's start off at the catch port. We want to find out what's biting because I know it was another good week of fishing. We're going to start up at Dana War Sport Fishing. Talk to the man, Captain Brian Woolley's on the line. What's up, Woolley? Hey, good morning, guys. How are you this morning? Doing great. Good morning. Good, good. Hey, you can definitely feel the shift. From the summer scene into the fall up here, you know, we're kind of feeling it, right? In the mornings, a little bit cooler. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Yep, right. Water temps down a little bit in our little stretch of the beach, 67 to 69 degrees, right? Kind of what it normally does this time of year. But with that being said, we continue to see some really good fishing along our stretch of the coast this week. The bonito fishing, man, in particular, was really good for us this week. and We had multiple ways of getting the boat stopped on this fish all week, be it a sonar school, a jig stop. Uh, breezers, shiners, you know, it, it was all there, and this fish has been wanting to bite. It's been super fun, and this has been some good, great fish. It's like the four- to eight-pound bonita, some line pullers for sure. The live bait, I'd say, probably fished the best. Got the most bites for our guys this week, but as, as you'd imagine, you know, the guys throwing the jigs, that cold sniper, 80 gram, deadly on those things as well. So that stuff did real good for us this week. Along with that bonita, we're seeing some skipjack close to home, too. I know the San Mateo, uh, he had some good fish in midweek out off the, off the beach a little ways. And then yesterday, the Helena had a spot under four miles from our harbor here, just straight out in our canyon there that bit real well for him. He ended his, his trip with, I think, 40 of those things, uh, super close to home. So 
good sign on that fall stuff. Along the coast here uh, on our half and three-quarter day stuff, the, the bass fishing, I'd say, has been fair. You know, the water with that little dip has uh, slowed things down a tiny bit, but uh, we've got some real nice live sardine, the four-inch bait that's been perfect for these bass. We're seeing some nice sheephead as well, and, uh, you know, we're even getting over the rockfish a little bit with this cooler water and uh, adding some of that to our accounts as well. And then finally, the Fury, he's had some good fishing, too. He's been real busy with his uh, all-day trips. He's had some multi-day trips in his schedule this last week. He's got some good shots at some yellowtail and some bluefin tuna where he's been fishing, along with some of that San Benito uh, out there in uh, their share of bottom fish, too. So things are clicking up here. I'd certainly love to have you guys out with us. If you guys want to give the landing a call to make reservations, still uh, a good call this time of year, nonetheless. Uh, our phone number up here is 949-496. Five seven nine four. Of course, you can check us out on the web too at danawarf.com. And uh, discount codes, you can still use that HU25. That'll get you through today, at the end of the month. But we're going to switch on over to the word fall, S A L L. That'll save you twenty five percent on a local half and three quarter day starting October first, which is tomorrow. So which uh, is tomorrow, yeah. Yep. So fall. F-A-L-L, gets you 25% off half or three-quarter day trips at Dana Wars for Fishing. Just go to the front page of the Let's Talk Hookup website, letstalkhookup.com. Click on the Dana Wars banner and put that code in and save big bucks. Good call. Off to the races. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for the time. We'll uh, talk to you next week. Talk to you next week. Right on. Thanks a lot for that. Now let's head on down to Cedros Island. Talk to our good buddy Jeff Flowers online from Cedros Sport Fishing. What's up, Jeff? Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? We're doing great. Anxious to hear if that crazy good fishing has been able to continue. Well, uh, yes, the the fishing is still great down there. Uh, the Dorado underneath the patties, the yellowfin, the wahoo's still out there, calicos, the big yellowtail are starting to move in. But uh, Mother Nature played a nasty trick on us, or still is, yeah. uh, with that Hurricane Rosa coming up the coast. That's coming be right a- into Cedros as a tropical storm, right? Yeah, we've been tracking it for about, oh, I don't know, seven, eight days now, and that thing just stalled out and sat there and just spun, and, and it's moving about seven miles an hour last time I looked. Uh, but hopefully it'll it'll uh, it'll blow itself out before it gets to the island. Uh, they're, they're not used to that kind of wind and, and possible rain down there. Yeah, the rain is the big factor, right, because they just don't get any rain. Yeah, well, and, and you know, a good move, um, you know, with the, the, the people down there. The harbor master actually shut the uh, the harbor down. Um, he's not letting anybody make a call whether or not to go down there. So we took it upon ourselves to cancel our trips, and uh, we had one this weekend that was canceled and another one uh, beginning of next week. But uh, we're also going to lengthen our schedule a little bit this year to accommodate people who still want to go down there. Okay, all right. Good and, call. And, and, yeah, with this late-season hurricane action going on, it certainly could be a, a late season. So. Absolutely. Well, you know, talking with Javier and, and Lalo down there, uh, they, they kind of pulled us aside and said, hey, guys, uh, the big yellowtail bite after you guys have normally shut the place down, uh, they bite all the way through the winter. So we're looking at maybe uh, extending into the end of November, into December, depending on the uh, the desire of the fishermen who want to go down there and, and take a shot at those big fish. Wow. That sounds like fun to me for sure. Well, no, if somebody Jeff. wants to book a trip, I know – our trips next year are, are filling quickly, as well as all the trips on Sedro Sport Fishing. And, and if you want to go uh, catch a big yellowtail, maybe early December, that sounds like a good time to me. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I might have to go down there and do a little scout trip just to make <laughs> yeah. sure, uh, you know, I'm telling the right things to people. You know what I mean? I, I like That's that That's a good idea. call, buddy. I like it. <laughs> How do we get a hold of you if we want to do that? Best way to do it is to give Rosie a call on her cell, and that's 619 772 Seven five seven zero, or you can go on the website at sedrosportfishing.com, Take a look at the schedule, see if there are any openings still available for us this year. We do have a few at, uh, like I said, in the middle of October, uh, down through the end of that, and then end of November. But um, give her a call. Best way to get it on the book. That way, uh, you know, she's got it taken care of for you. Right on, Jeff. Well, great job. Appreciate that. Tie everything down tight, batten down the hatches, and we'll look forward to a great report next week with calm weather and some more great fishing. Absolutely. Have a great weekend, Thanks, guys. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. See you. Surf guru Gundy Gunderson is on the line. What's up, Gundy? Hey, what's going on, guys? Oh, you are, man. Some surf fishing, a little bit of surf this week, but uh, 
shouldn't shouldn't cause too much havoc, huh? No, it might you know might not be a bad thing to kind of shake things up. These guys are pulling their hair out trying to hook these corvina right now, especially <laughs> in that southern section. Seeing tons of fish, but uh, the sand crabs kind of drying up, drying up, and then they're a little locked jaw. I think you know we get a low pressure through here, maybe the swell. We need just to sh- shake the deck up, you know what I mean? But still, a lot of other species biting. Another good week of fishing, good bites on several different species. Halibut fishing has improved, especially in that northern section, starting to see the first perch catches on those northern beaches. I think Wiley's has scheduled their first perch derby for the 13th of October. On the southern beaches, it's a cat and mouse game with the Corvina. Tough to hook and fish right and land a fish right now. Sand crabs, like I said, have been drying up. Natural baits like bloodworms, mussel, ghost shrimp has been the best thing to do. Lots of fish, so just hold on to your hat. We're going to get a shot at them here. Hookline sinker up north reported very good halibut fishing. Anglers found fish on most beaches, east beach, black rock, graveyards, the sand spits, some of the better spots. Anchovy and smelt pattern swim baits have been hot. A little weedy for the hard jerk baits. Uh, fish to 30 inch reported. Wiley's checked in a 37-inch white sea bass, and I heard this on a lot of fronts. Some sea bass starting to move in shallow, mostly shorts, but a 37-inch fish is very respectable. Leo Carrillo, who was taken on an anchovy pattern swim bait. The anglers also had uh, a mix of calico bass, sand bass, real good bite, they described. The halibut bite uh, was also improved this week down south. Just fishing in Redondo reported good halibut action on South Bay beaches. Top fish was a 14-pounder taken on a cut anchovy off Hermosa. Still lots of corbina in the surf line there. Very challenging. But hold, like I said, just hold tight. That's going to come through. Big fish in Seal Beach checked in some big spots in this week. Huntington Cliffs and the Huntington Pier was the best stretch, kicking out fish to five pounds on the mussel. Again, lots of corbina in this stretch, just standing by. Hogan's and Dana Point reported halibut specialists starting to pick fish off in and around the harbor, Doheny, the pier, Cotton's Point, all kicked out fish. The hot bait right now has been one of those uh, smaller fresh sardines. You know, when you come off of a day of offshore fish and bag some of those sardines, those little four-inch sardines are just dynamite in the surf. And uh, Pacific Coast reported uh, uh, a frustrating bite on the Corbina, and guys are seeing the fish, you know, the same story there. And then uh, finally Blue Water reported a 13-pound and a 16-pound striped bass, again, off that Del Mar area. There must be a school in there that's just hanging out, Pete. I mean, we've been yeah, reporting so nice cool. quality fish since spring coming through that area. And maybe hanging some of the, the guys sharks. are hearing our reports and hitting it up, you know. Yeah, no kidding, for sure. Well, surf guru Gundis Gunderson, always a good time. And uh, for sure, it, 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 it's just amazing uh, uh, fishing along the beach this time of the year, this fall season. Go get them. I want Pre- that striper. Yeah, I want yeah, that striper, man. I cool. think that's so cool. Well, go, go get them. <laughs> It is. It's just a matter of trying, you know what I mean? Imagination. That's all it takes in those airplanes. Yeah, no kidding. All right, Gundy. Yeah, thanks a lot. Have a great that. week. Great show. Thanks, Talk Gundy. To you next Sunday. Appreciate that. And that is sponsored by SurfFishTackle.com. you got to check out this crab and go that Bill Varney has invented. It's an easy way to catch crabs on the beach. Uh, it, it hooks to your belt. It weighs just ounces. And it costs like 20 bucks. Yeah, great tool. Great tool to get. You can get it at surffishtackle.com. Check it out. You got it. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. A great opportunity for your phone call. Been a busy morning. 858 457 1090. Open right now. We got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way on the mighty 1090. Here's John Ireland. For Rancho Leonero. Rancho Leonero was awarded the Certificate of Excellence from TripAdvisor for four straight years. Especially interesting, most hotels are just hotels. And most people stay in the hotel and go do their activities elsewhere. Rancho Leonero, of course, provides fishing, diving, all activities, all meals, your whole vacation. So the fact that we're so highly rated, we're very proud of it. From picking you up at the airport to dropping you off, literally everything is a turnkey from there. We make it as easy as we can for you at the ranch. From your meals to whether you're going to go fishing or diving or just hang out by the pool. When you're coming to Rancho Lanero, you are coming to John Ireland's home. I guarantee the best fishing vacation experience in all of Baja. It's unique. There's nowhere that I could think of to get the same experience that you get at Rancho Lanero. Our new reservation phone number is 800-646-2252, 646-BAHA, and RanchoLanero.com. It's really unique. It is. 
We're very proud of it. Quality is the name of the game at Seaforth Sport Fishing in Mission Bay. Free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, plus a great fleet. It's no wonder Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, El Gato Dos, Pride, Tribute, Tomahawk, Prowler, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth, Sea Watch, and San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing for charters or regular open party schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. When bad weather and rough seas send other boats back to the dock, SeaKeeper allows you to fish longer and fish harder, even in the roughest conditions. Don't believe it? Just ask those that have put them on their boat, like Captain Pete Grosbeck and other professionals. Fishing in the trough with SeaKeeper basically eliminates the trough. SeaKeeper's newest offering, the SeaKeeper 3, is optimized to eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on boats between 30 and 39 feet. Even better, this gyro is so small it can fit inside a customized leaning post and operate on your current battery system, making installation fast and easy. Watch for new product coming soon. The SeaKeeper for boats. Think about it. Eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on your boat. That is a Amazing! To learn more about how Seakeeper can change your life on the water and to schedule your free demo, go to Seakeeper.com. Take a ride, be amazed. Seakeeper. XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at BuyFordNow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. The Sport Fishing Association of California is hosting a very special open house and live broadcast of Let's Talk Hookup on Saturday, October 6th at their Point Loma headquarters. And you're invited on the waterfront next to the San Diego landings. Join the president of SAC, Captain Ken Frankie, and special guests. Tour the SAC facility and learn about regulations and permits that you need when fishing in Mexico. The SAC staff will be on hand to walk you through the permit process, bracelets, and more, as well as help you process your temporary importation permit on the spot. Visit the SAC website for what you need to bring. Key military personnel will be on hand to discuss San Clemente Island access and illegal charter boat enforcement. SAC's mission is to promote tourism through marine recreation and educational activities while protecting ocean resources. Tune in, or better yet, come by the SAC office Saturday, October 6th, 5040 North Harbor Drive, next to Pizza Nova in Point Loma. Check CaliforniaSportFishing.org. For local and long-range fishing, the Islander out of Fisherman's Land is a favorite among seasoned or novice anglers. But Islander Charters is much more than great fishing. They also do incredible Guadalupe white shark diving trips as well as a scheduled kayak mothership trips. You need to check out the Islander on their website, islander-charters.com. The Islander is San Diego's leader when it comes to two to five day fishing. Watch the website for trips and adventures available. Experience the Islander difference. Visit islander-charters.com for all the details. 